Hello everyone, my name is Swart Dwerdewijk and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be looking at some of the shortcuts and key bindings I use in Neverwinter. The first thing I need to say is I'm actually going to uh, copy and paste them from a document I have on my second monitor. So I won't be typing them out completely but I will be showing the full command on screen for you. So before we do that let me just make sure that I have a nice display there and let's just go to say there. There we go. The first one I'm going to be using is my self kill com command. This is useful when you're stuck or, um, and need to be raised at a fire or when you are in a bugged boss. So what I do there is I bind it to the F1 key and I tell it to when I'm stuck or def uh, when I'm stuck defeat me activate. So let's test that. If I press F1, it'll give me a little dialog asking me if I want to be defeated and that I will have um, penalties. This is for if I don't have VIP, you'll have the injuries. Okay, so let, let me just say OK and you'll see I'll die immediately. So that's the first one. The second one I use is not currently working. It was um, one of the features that got broken when Mod 16 was released. What it basically does is it allows you to fast summon or unsummon your companion. The reasoning I'm including it in here is in case it gets fixed, it is a very useful way of fast summoning your companion. Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, as I said, uh, I'll test it, but it won't work because it's currently bugged. It has been reported, so hopefully it will be it will get fixed. The third one is for people with VIP. It is on my stuck on my F3 key and it allows me to bring my overworld map up for me, my sign signpost. So if I press F3, what will happen is you'll notice my signpost will appear and I would be able to go to the world map. Okay, then our next one is also VIP. That would be for the F4 key and it will bring up the um, VIP mailbox for us. Okay, so let's do that. Four, and there's our mailbox. Right. Then next up for F5, we are going to bring up our seal trader. Okay. So seal trader, I can press F5. Go to the talk to seal trader, and you will be able to speak to it as normal. Actually, notice my seals are a bit high there. I must do something about that. Okay, so next up, we are going to be um, using the bank vendor for VIP. So accessing your bank very fast. That I'm sticking to F6. Um, remember, you can change this to any key combination you want. Say, for example, you want it to be... Uh, let me try and think of something. Control J. Oh, well, Control J is already taken. Um, Control B for bank. Then you can just type in CNTL plus B and it will link to the bank for you. So let's test that one quickly. If I press F6, my banking portal will appear. All right. Next up, we're going to look at our professions vendor. So that's. Uh, did I copy that wrong? Yes, I did. Just do that again, okay. And it's not taking okay. I'll just type it slash bind seven gen sent message VIP action underscore uh, pro. Fashion vendor, and we want to activate it. See, and we close our quotes, and there we go. So if I now press my F7 key, it should there we go, bring up our professions vendor for us. Okay, next up is my F8 key. In uh, this is not for VIP, so. 
players that don't have VIP can use this one as well. It is the auction route. So if I press F8, it will bring up the auction house for me. Or the Tamilin trade bar house. Trade house, sorry. The um, F9, I have the Zax or Zen AD Exchange set to it. So let's just do that quickly. So if I press F9, it will bring up my Zax for me. Then F10, I use to check my network connection if I'm lagging to see if it's on my side. So if I press F10, you will see my ping and stuff appearing there. If I go F10 again, it will disappear. Okay, so again, that was, let me just, I did that a bit fast. So let me just show you again. It was just F10 plus plus net graph. Right, so the next one is, the, the next two is actually the ones I use the most. I'm going to add them both and then I'll explain them to you after that. The first one is my F11 key. So for that is, it says go to character select F11 and F12, they both uh, work together. So I'm going to show you them together. Okay. And F12 is invoke dollar dollar go to character select okay so what they do is if i press f11 it will just simply log me out and send me to the character screen if i press f12 it will invoke me first and then send me to the character screen this is very useful for when you want to do fast invoking now i've already done invoking uh, completed my invoking for the day on this tune so i'm just going to press f11 to go out Okay, there we go. Uh, so I'm logged in. You'll notice that the top right hand corner I can see um, that I can invoke here. Something to, 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 to mention as well, all these keys you have to be uh, not in this mode where, where you have to press the Alt to return to game. So if you, for example, have your bank open, it will not work. If you're in any screen, it will not work. You have to be in open play where you can walk around, etc. So when I press F12, what it will do is it will invoke and send me back to the character select screen. Let's do that quickly. So you see, it will invoke and it will go back to the character select screen. Now I'm just going to re-log in to show you that it actually did invoke. This is very, very, very useful for fast invoke runs um, when you have a lot of tunes. Yeah, as you can see there at the top right hand corner, it has actually done the invoke for me. And I'm just going to hit F11 to lock me back out and go back to Quart. Something else that is useful is adjusting your point of view of your character. Now there's various ways of doing that, but what I found useful is I use my numpad um, 7, 8 and 9 and I set that to my uh, point of view bindings. The reason I use numpad is so I don't accidentally hit them. So I'm just going to quickly set the, the, the three I use and then I'll explain them for you. So that's seven and that's eight and nine. Okay, so just to test it I'm going to hit seven and it should do nothing. As, as, as we can see, it doesn't do anything. If I press F8, it will start changing my point of view. The reason 7 did nothing is 7 is the default settings. So whenever you want to go back to normal, you just hit 7. So I go F8 and you'll see, I can still zoom in and out, but I'll see a lot more. And if I hit F9, it will go even further and give me more view. If I hit F7 again, then it will reset it to standard. Okay. Then after we've done all this, the problem is how do I get this on all my tunes? Um, you don't want to retype it every time on every tune. There's two ways of doing that. I'm going to quickly show you the first one. Is I'm not using this one, but I'll just show you how it works. You should type slash bind underscore saves underscore file and then the name of the file. This will create a file in the root directory of your game. So wherever your game is installed, it will create a file named in this case keybinds.txt. 
but I don't use that I prefer using the fast method which is uses the default savings so let's have a look at that I go control V As you can see slash bind underscore save if I hit enter it will save it now if I go to any other tune and I want to load it I can just use the load command and it will load it okay this is very useful as well if if you did changes or anything you can go to uh, that that didn't work that work got messed up you can go to your option sex settings and you can say res uh, not there sorry yeah it is there sorry you can say reset defaults if you set the reset defaults it will re remove all your key bindings and then you can just use your load command to actually load the file again and have all your s settings for you now there's a few other ones that I can show you that I sometimes use for fun or for other purposes the first one is if I want to walk I press walk one and instead of running you'll notice I slowly walk this is um, I use this sometimes in some of the quests you need to follow someone and then the walk is helpful there to remove it again you go slash walk zero Oops, sorry space walk zero and you will be back to running uh, running again here we go um, then there is one I won't be able to show it to you right now but it is called follow any NPC or character you can use this command on you look at the person say for example I wanted to follow let me just go out of this I wanted to follow this little character I would simply go to my sorry go to my uh, follow and whenever it moves I will move now obviously it's not going to move um, let me do something else quickly this to, to test it let's grab any companion that will probably be running around somewhere uh, let's go to uh, that one okay so it's summoned so if I go to it I look at it and I say follow you see there as it moves I would follow it this is um, some quest you have to follow the character and for that case this is very useful okay so I'm just gonna do to cancel it you just walk and then it will take you out of the, the, the walk part right then there is another one um, called slash W this is for whisper and you would want to whisper to someone specific you can type the person's name or you can type their at handle now I've see I've got a friend notify there okay um, another thing that you might want to do as well is use the backspace pressing the backspace will bring up the last towel you have the final one I'm going to show you is how to quickly reply to a chat now as you might notice there I initiated the chat to one of my guildies and when we are in conversation sometimes you want to talk back and it takes time to right click the person's name or um, type slash w and the person's name so what you, you can do is you can just hit the backspace when you hit the backspace it will automatically take you towards the tell for that person making it very fast to chat that's it for this video if you have any suggestions please leave a comment in the comment section below if you like this video please hit the like button and please consider subscribing thank you for watching and happy gaming